Did you know that eating your vegetables is important? Seriously though, not only are they nutritious, they may offer protection against various types of diseases like heart disease, type 2 diabetes, and even some forms of cancer. In this video, we're looking at how many servings of vegetables you should eat per day to get the maximum benefits. What's considered uh, one serve of fruit or vegetables uh, is far from standard and it actually varies uh, a lot from country to country. This table below describes certain vegetable serving sizes based on different countries' recommendations. Now additionally, note that these countries use different measurement units as well, just to make it uh, interesting. So in the United Kingdom, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, raw vegetables, raw leafy vegetables, cooked vegetables, 100% vegetable juice, uh, they're all considered one serve uh, at 2.9 ounces or 80 grams. In the US and Canada, however, it differs. Uh, raw vegetables, cooked vegetables, and vegetable juice are a serve at half a cup or 125 mils, but raw leafy vegetables are a serve at one cup or 250 mils. It's also worth mentioning that many governmental agencies don't consider potatoes as a serving of vegetables. And personally, I don't think that's very fair, but it is because they're high in starches, which puts them in the same category as like pasta and rice and bread. How many serves per day then? So now we know approximately what a serve is, how many should you have? Well, considering we want to protect against disease, we can actually look at the research. Studies consistently show that diets rich in vegetables may boost heart health and reduce the risk of dying prematurely. Now, according to several studies, people who eat the most vegetables may have up to a 70% lower risk of developing heart disease. This may be due to the high amount of fiber and antioxidants that vegetables contain. A review of 23 studies observed a link between eating 14 ounces or 400 grams of vegetables per day and an 18% lower risk of developing heart disease. So that's about five serves. Eating enough vegetables may not only protect your heart, but may also help you live longer. For example, studies found that eating at least eight ounces um, or 231 grams or three serves and up to seven or more serves of vegetables per day may reduce the risk of dying prematurely by 25 to 32%. There's also a lot of observational studies looking at vegetable consumption uh, and weight loss, uh, blood sugar levels, and cancer risk. They typically found that four to five servings per day is adequate to confer the maximum benefits. Uh, more is probably better. It's certainly not worse than that, uh, but not all studies consistently saw that. How should you eat your veggies? Vegetables can be purchased and consumed in a variety of forms, and as such, there's a lot of debate about which one should be considered the healthiest. Most consider fresh vegetables the best. However, nutrient levels begin to decline immediately after harvesting and continue to do so during storage. Most fresh vegetables, uh, like found in supermarkets, uh, are picked before they are fully ripe to prevent spoilage during transportation. Now, in comparison, you have frozen vegetables that are generally picked at their ripest and most nutritious point. However, they may lose between 10 to 80% of their nutrients during uh, blanching, which is a process in which uh, they're boiled for a short time uh, before freezing. Generally speaking, uh, studies show very little difference in the nutrient content uh, between fresh and frozen vegetables. Uh, nevertheless, uh, vegetables grown in your own yard or from a local farmer's market are probably going to be the most nutritious. When it comes to canned vegetables, the heating process used during manufacturing may also reduce certain nutrient levels. What's more, canned vegetables often contain salt or added sugar. They may also contain trace amounts of BPA, which is a chemical uh, linked to a range of issues. Juicing has become a popular and easy way to add vegetables to your diet as well. However, juicing tends to remove fiber, which is very important uh, to health. Studies also show that antioxidants naturally bound to plant fibers may be lost uh, during the juicing process. For these reasons, I recommend fresh or frozen vegetables over canned or juiced varieties. Thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you found it informative. Don't forget to subscribe to Healthline's Authority Nutrition YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button below this video.